This video will show you how to use the BMP screening tool to navigate the maze of stormwater management options and choose the best option for your site. You may know some options for management that might work, but have you ever wondered if there are more options than what you know? The ITRC has a guidance document and a tool to help. Using input from your own site, the screening tool helps you navigate to BMPs that may apply to your situation. Additional links within the tool's resources offer more in-depth information on design, installation, and maintenance. For example, consider the Acme Industrial Park. There are lots of cars and delivery trucks driving through the park every day. The site has been used for manufacturing since the early 20th century and has contaminated soils. It's heavily built up, there's not a lot of unused space, and just to make things a little more complicated, there's an airport nearby. The pollutants you're concerned about for this project include total lead, copper, zinc, arsenic, cadmium, chromium, and total suspended solids. You might be a little overwhelmed by all the stormwater management options out there. Don't worry, the ITRC tool and guidance document can help you. First, download the tool. You can find and download the tool and guidance documents on the ITRC's website here. Make sure to check the README file for browser and computer requirements. Now, open the tool. It's based in Microsoft Excel, so most computers and users can handle it. The tool's simple layout will easily guide you through the selection process. There's the pollutant table, containing the common pollutants monitored in stormwater management. Then there's a secondary screening table, where you can further limit your options by specific site criteria. Lastly, the results table with links to resources. Now that you're familiar with the tool, let's get started. Remember the Acme Industrial Park? Select all of the pollutants you're concerned about. Lead, copper, zinc, arsenic, cadmium, chromium, and total suspended solids. Next, secondary screening choices will pop up and you'll need to choose the ones that apply to Acme Industrial Park. Because your site might have contaminated soils, you want to only include BMPs that aren't affected by contaminated soils. You also want to make sure you're only going to see BMPs that can be installed near airports. Voila! The tool screens out everything except for media filters and chemical treatment. Click on Media Filters. An information sheet opens up in a web browser. What is in an information sheet, you may ask? Well, a lot of BMP-specific information. The first section is a general description of the BMP and the pollutants it is expected to treat. Next, you see data from the International Stormwater BMP database. The data gives you results from lab and field monitoring. Below that is a summary of state certifications and links to those certifications. Certifications are more common for manufactured BMPs than for practices. Practices are presumed to be effective and are widely accepted. Next are component-specific considerations. These are points the designer needs to consider when using this BMP. Next are design criteria. These are design suggestions as well as links to design manuals from around the country. If you do not find one for your state, try to find one from a region with a similar climate. Construction information provides suggestions on factors to consider during installation. The next section contains suggestions for operation and maintenance. Last, there are references that are linked to the source data. The other information sheets, like in our example chemical treatment, are very similar in terms of layout, but every sheet has its own specific BMP information. With these suggestions in hand, you can return to your team. Together, you'll need to think about capital costs, operating costs, relative effectiveness, space requirements, and whether or not this BMP will be accepted by the regulators in your area. There might be other things you need to consider as well. Check out our guidance document and tool at the ITRC website. Good luck!